So boy math, okay? It applies to divorce proceedings and toxic masculinity. It manifests in fuck boy behavior. <laughs> Every stupid asshole-like or genuinely sinister thing Damn. a man has ever done has now been channeled into boy math. Okay, it adds several inches to a man's self-reported height and other items that uh, <laughs> men sort of inflate. Uh, it is fully responsible for the reason that Elon Musk made his ill-fated decision to purchase Twitter, now X. It is also the cause of the 2008 financial recession. Mm -hmm. It is also the reason that men focus on sports stars stats and not necessarily their own finances and explains the sorry state of so many men's apartments. These are a woman's words to explain boy math. Shall I go on with examples, Nat? Please do. <laughs> I'm see how excited, excited she is I'm for excited this. to okay. see this. So here are some examples mm -hmm. of how the women <clears throat> justify what boy math is. Gentlemen, brace for impact. Boy math is a man being afraid of gold diggers while only having three pairs of socks to his name. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> that is accurate. That is accurate. Wow. Men. <laughs> These women are all my stuff. But you got three pairs of socks. Okay. Uh, funny. I'll, I'll give the ladies that is, credit. That was that's a pretty good funny. One. Men, get um, your socks. Don't worry about these women taking your money. Right. <laughs> Boy math is worrying about a woman brings to the table when your mattress is on the floor. <laughs> Look, gentlemen, we've all been there. This is accurate. We've all been there where, you know, you got, a, you got an air mattress on the floor. You got a mattress on the floor. I've been there. Malik, I assume you've been there. As a poor college dude, now you're balling here at Valuetainment. We've all been in a situation where it's mattress on the floor, lifestyle, ramen noodles in the fridge, yeah. lifestyle, eating leftovers, lifestyle. But that lifestyle doesn't have to last forever. But this is how women ex um, explain it. But of course, these women, these woke, liberal, feminist women agenda are going to take a quote from one of the squad members in politics. Um, probably one of the more woke political people out there. She's representative mm. of Minnesota. Her name is Ilhan Omar. She says, boy math, she responded, boy math is never raising the minimum wage, but still expecting Americans to keep up with the cost of living. Okay, for that matter, um, Governor Gavin Newsom has just raised the minimum wage in California for fast food workers mm. to 20 dollars an hour pop quiz nat if someone makes 20 dollars an hour and don't no calculator that's not fair and works 40 hours a week okay 20 dollars an hour normal nine to five type situation can i have your phone please stop you're not gonna be able to do the math anyway <laughs> right, good luck if someone makes 20 dollars an hour uh -huh. girl math right here gentlemen if someone mm -hmm. working in a fast food restaurant makes $20 an hour, yeah. works a full-time job, mm -hmm. how much do they make a year? I forgot the multiple. $20 an hour? $20 an hour. Um, a range between 30000 and 45000 Ding, 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 ding. Nat, it's 40000 Here's a little trick out there. If you want to know how much someone's making annually, take the hourly wage, right. 20, 20, and just double it. Yeah. Times two. Yeah. 40. Yeah. $40,000. Add those three zeros. It's actually pretty easy. Wow. Yeah. If you Do it. Wow. 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 If you're making, okay. <laughs> but here's the, here's the question. I love that. Here okay. it is. Okay. If you make $40,000 a year. Yes. How much do you make an hour? 20. $20 an hour! Ah, <laughs> right? This non-reading, no-math skills, girl-math advocate is actually doing okay. That's right. Let's try something different. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Advanced math. If someone makes $50 an hour, okay. how much do they make a, a year. year? So you said times it by two. That's 100 So they make $100,000 a year. Say it louder. $100,000 a year. You're right. Yes. 
See, anyone can wow, do I'm this. Wow, I'm learning more math anyone now than this. I now, did in my private school. <laughs> here it is. Now, here's the tricky part. Yes. If someone makes a hundred grand a year, okay. how much do they make an hour? Fifty. Fifty dollars. <laughs> just divide by two. Yes. Yes. Fun fact out there. I love if this. Just times it by two, divide by two. That's why you'll find out what your hourly wage is your annual income. Fuck yeah. Pretty freaking simple. <laughs> Boy math. I love that. Boy math, boy ladies math. and gentlemen. <laughs> Shout out to math. the boys out there teaching the girls how to do basic math <laughs> with income. Okay. So what's my point? We talked about girl math. We talked about boy math. You know, I said at the beginning of the show, I'm here to help people. I'm here to help women. I'm here to help men. I want men to get paid, laid, do it your way. You got one life. I truly believe that. You got to make the best of it. Right. So do women. So this reminds me, this... Men ain't shit, these girls are all hoes. Uh, boy math, girl math, it actually reminds me of something from the 90s. So you might remember a little group, a little trio called TLC. Yes. What's the first song that comes to mind? I don't want no scrubs. Sing it. I, I don't, don't want, want no scrub. Scrub, scrub is the guy can't get no man from me. Hanging out the passenger side of my best friend's ride. Right. Trying to do my life. So. <laughs> Men heard this song, No yeah. Scrubs. They're like, what? Bitch? <laughs> Say what? Call me a scrub? What? So what did men do? Mm. What did men do? Well, the men, we going to clap back. Yeah, we know. Do you know what the anti-No scrub song was that the men came out with? No. It was actually called No Pigeons. I don't want no pigeons. These be the pigeons that get no dubs from me. Trying to holler at me, nothing. Awful. So the point is this, <laughs> you don't know that song. No. Because it actually wasn't that good. Yeah. But people know TLC, no, no scrubs. That was a real song. But the point is, um, <laughs> should you just go back and clap back at women? Or should you try to understand their girl math? Is it ridiculous? Is it insane? Yes. But this is how women operate. Let them do what they do. Now, do I have to agree with it? No. Do I have to advocate it? No. Do I have to... Implement it into my life? Hell no. But if a girl wants to do girl math, more power to you, ladies. Good luck handling your finances. Here's the catch, though, gentlemen. If you bring a girl into your life, and that is now your girl, it is incumbent on you as a man to teach her math. <laughs> Just straight up, math. plain old, four-letter word, M-A-T-H math. Because girl math will be disastrous for your bank account and your finances in your relationship. This so, is actually good that this is happening. You know, gentlemen, test your ladies on the girl math things that you hear and get their opinion. Just because, you know, if you're gonna be paying for things or giving her money, you kinda wanna know where her head is at when it comes to spending the money you give her. So, you're welcome, gentlemen. We're helping you understand this. We're helping you. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen out there, that is girl math and boy math. I like just math. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another, or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.